Whoa, welcome back, everybody. I'm George. I am your humble servant and host. And today's video is on upcoming events and things that we've got working right now. Um, what I want to do is I want to make sure I can explain just briefly what I got going on and um, allow you to just contemplate that for a while because we have been theorizing. Now, the first thing I want to share with you is I'm going to do, and within the next 48 hours, we're going to do another uh, review on a still. And this is called a uh, Samagon Operat, and it's a traditional old style Russian still with a slobber box. So we're going to learn a lot about that, and I'm sure you'll be just as interested in that as I am. So that's coming up. Now, check out these two guys. Durbin's Bourbon, I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. Uh, Durbin's Bourbon. Tuning in. And um, this is Joe, and uh, he'll be on your left, and Josh is on the right. Uh, these two guys publish videos on a weekly basis, um, and here, you can go to their channel um, and check them out. Uh, that what's really interesting is that no matter whatever it is you want to know about the flavor profile, the character, the process, and the history in some of your most favorite spirits, these guys cover it. Most excellent. Most excellent. And Joe, Megan wants to wish you a happy birthday as well as I do and hopefully everybody in the community. So send Joe a birthday wish. He'll be 51 on the 19th of August. And uh, we want to wish him a happy birthday. Now, Joe always says, uh, if you're going to drink your bourbon, drink it the way you'd like it. I think that's some good advice. So, um, here's what I got working, is I'm working with Peltier devices, uh, Peltier modules. And uh, for those of you who have ever messed with these things before, you, you can understand. They're not that complicated. Uh, it's just they're only about 5% efficient. Um, and I theorize that I'm able to cool water almost instantly because of the temperature differential from one side to the other. There's a lot of information there and I'm going to do a separate video on that so I can share that with you and hopefully this is successful as I sandwich two of these together over top of a copper heat exchanger and run water in one end and out the other. So. And what my theory is, is I should be able to run water in this side, super chill it, run it out this side, and goes into your condenser. And then whatever comes out, goes right back in here, gets super chilled, and goes right back out again. Therefore, I think it will be fairly efficient. Now, um, we're going to give that a try. i got huge fans, 12-volt fans to keep it cool. i got my DC generator. I, I, you know, i got a whole bunch of stuff laying around here, and I've been... I've been slowly but surely going at it. Been working with these for a couple of years, and every once in a while I pull them off the shelf and come up with something to do with them, and this is something I've come up with. So, <clears throat> we're going to get to that very directly. But until next time, yep, you know it. As always, happy distilling, happy birthday, Joe, and we'll see you in about 48 hours.